Okay, thank you. Uh, thank you for coming today. First thing you might ask is why hold a uh, press conference in a restaurant? Precisely because economic development happens not in City Hall, but by the business people. That's why we're here, and that's what the entire purpose of our stimulus package was, which is to help businesses directly. The program we're talking about and that we're so proud that we won a Helen Putnam Award for, which Mr. Yan will tell you is the highest praise from the League of Cities, is a 22, pro, uh, 22 program uh, package of, uh, of economic stimulus that we put in place in 2009 at the height of the recession because we wanted and needed to help the businesses. But it was not just government, it was the businesses stepping up too. Uh, some of the most visible parts of the program were our Shop and Drive and Shop and Dine program, where we directly infused money into the community. Uh, if you buy cars, if you buy goods and services from participating merchants, which we had over 400, we recirculated money. There's lots of other programs too. The bottom line on it was that the city council had the foresight to approve this program. They had the foresight to put $400,000 towards the program when money was very, very tight, and it generated, documented $123 million of economic development during the program, exceeding the goal of 110. It was measurable, it was effective, and a lot of businesses were saved, and a lot of businesses thrived, and a lot of businesses, because of it, um, invested on their own, and they're stronger today because of it. We're very proud of this program. And I'm also proud that we have a representative today from the League of Cities, as I said, Mr. Bill Yan from the California League of Cities. Thank you. Good morning. I'd like to open up my remarks by describing uh, who Helen Putman was and, and how proud uh, the city of Lancaster should be in receiving this award, named after her. Helen Putman was a mother, a school teacher, a principal, a mayor, and a county supervisor. But most of all, Helen Putnam was a person who viewed meeting one's potential as the measurement of success. Excellent to, excellence to Helen Putnam was shown by someone who did his or her very best. She was as supportive and loving of people who did their best as she was of the people that did the best. The League in the California cities, Helen Putnam uh, defined to the League in the California cities, Helen Putman defined excellence, and this award for excellence is given in her memory. Established in 1982 by the League of, of California cities, the California cities Helen Putman Award for Excellence program recognizes outstanding achievements by California's 480 cities. The winning cities have made their unique contributions in, to their community, their residences, their residences and businesses alike. Contributions which have resulted in lower cost or more efficient, effective delivery of services. The purpose of the California City's Helen Putnam Award of Excellence Program is to recognize and promote the outstanding efforts and innovation solutions by city governments. And these include improve the quality of life for local communities, uh, implement efficiencies in service delivery and operations, and provide services responsible to the local community. Each year, the League of California Cities honors outstanding work in cities across the state through the League's partnership-sponsored Helen Putnam Awards for Excellence. A Helen Putnam Award is, is an opportunity to thank your employees and, and collaborators, gain the appreciation of your residents, and feel proud of outstanding contributions made to better your city. The award recognizes the successes of California cities as demonstrated by beneficial uh, innovations, resourceful efficiencies, improved public services, and overall enhancement of public trust and support. The award also provides a great opportunity to have the community celebration for the good work of, that your city is doing. As president of the Desert Mountain Division of the California League of Cities and its 16 membership cities, I would like to congratulate Mayor Paris, Vice Mayor Smith, your council, the city manager, and the city of Lancaster for receiving the Helen Putman Putt Putt Community Services and Economic Development Award. And I'd also like to thank you for your vision, your leadership, 
and successful implementation of these programs. As a side note, it's important to point out that uh, as, an, as a recipient of this award, it automatically qualifies your mayor for the President's Advocacy Award, which will be awarded, which will be selected and awarded uh, later on this year. So once again, congratulations and uh, uh, a job well done. Thank you. I want to tell you a story uh, because I like to tell stories. The, uh, when I first got elected, there were several weeks before I would go into City Hall. And my wife was noticing, you know, you're, you're the mayor now, you're supposed to go to City Hall. And, and uh, I wasn't going. And the reason I wasn't going is there was a little bit of depression that set in after I got elected because I, I really thought what I was going to have to do was go in and, and move everybody out and move new people in. Because if you'll remember what was going on back then, the, the city was in disarray. Uh, there wasn't a lot of things happening. And, you know, the, the natural inclination is to just assume that, that it was the staff. And to my discredit, that's what my assumption was. Until I, you know, finally got off my butt and went into City Hall and started talking to people and meeting with people. And then I realized that what I really had to do was, was make certain everybody understood that the, the shackles were off that I was wanting creativity, I wanted people that were willing to take risks, that people were wanting people who were willing to fail, and then step back and see what happened. And this was the first program that just blew me out of my chair. I mean, the, the moment they presented it to me, I realized this was really true vision. It was, uh, it was, it just knocked me out that, that they could do it. And it came out of redevelopment under Vern's leadership, and it was the two Heathers. Heather Swan's not here, but it was the Heather Stand Up. Uh, they're, they're both about the same age, two young women who, who uh, just blew us away because this program was not easy to accomplish. You know, just the, the, the idea of having a card that you can charge only if they shop and Lancaster with, and then the distribution of those cards is a monumental task. In fact, uh, an, uh, a city that will remain nameless tried to duplicate it and they couldn't do it. It was, it was just too difficult to do. And what they could have done was called us up and Heather would have told them how to do it. But, it, but the, the fact of the matter is, is that it was untried. Nobody had ever done it before. It was truly uh, what, the, the epitome of innovation. And it paid off, Vern. It paid off with huge rewards. Businesses that would have been closed stayed open. The auto dealers told us that, you know, they on it, some of them honestly thought that bankruptcy was their, in their future. And then the moment this program was unleashed, their sales just took off. And they still have been taking off. I mean, they, they're struggling with the recession like everybody else is. But nobody's in danger of collapse. And that was truly the result of a partnership between the city and the local businesses. But most importantly, it was the result of courage. Because this could have failed miserably. <laughs> you know, We could have dumped millions of dollars out there, and it would have fallen on your back. I mean, it, it took the courage to be willing to take those risks that enabled this community to thrive. And on you know Saturday night, I was walking this boulevard, and I was having trouble keeping the tears from flowing. I was I was just so proud of you guys, you know what what we dreamed of happening is coming true, and it's coming true in an era where nothing is happening anywhere else in most other cities, and I think the reason for it is is because in a Lancaster, you guys have kept that American, adventurous, willing to take risk, courageous spirit that is, is just uh, reaping rewards that, you know, you, you do not get enough credit for. It's, it's, you know, politicians like me and Ron that stand up and take the credit. And the truth is, is really what we do is we keep people out of your way. And as long as I think we continue to do that and you continue to exercise the courage and innovation that you have, we're, the, there are no limits to what we're going to reach. And uh, again, thank you so much. Um, that concludes, but if I may take one moment here, um, I think Mayor Paris and the Council also, the missing ingredient was also leadership. Nothing happens without leadership and the courage of it, and I thank Mayor Paris and the Council providing the leadership that this community and staff really uh, are very appreciative of.
With that, um, any of the folks up here will be available to the media for interviews and questions. So thank you all for coming.